Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So I will be doing a energy read for you guys to pick up what's going on currently in your energy. So I'm getting whoever has left their person, whoever was the first person to be left behind is starting to face a reality that they were wrong about you or you were wrong about them. And they feel like they could have judged you prematurely and they regret it. They take it all back. All right. Someone could be acting like they're not phased by you uh, being away from them or not a part of your life. And I feel like they're doing that through working a lot, trying to, you know, get it off their mind. But it's something they can't run from anymore. Yeah. We have liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, whoever this person is, they could very much so have a hustle mentality. They're always on the go. Okay, they always are looking for the next quick fix. Someone could be a drug head. Okay, attach themselves to people that uh, kind of enable them to do the things that they're into. All right, someone definitely does want to approach you, and when they do, they're going to be holding their both their hands up saying, hey, I come in peace. Okay? They definitely come in peace. They've been torn to pieces emotionally because you have been out of their energy field. All right? This person is totally heartbroken. I'm hearing that song by Whitney Houston, um, Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah. If they are in a relationship, they're just settling, okay? It's time, Virgos, to protect your energy. Is this something you need to do? Someone could not be completely healed or are looking for ways out of doing the shadow work, looking for, you know, like I said, that quick fix. Acting like they're completely healed because they want some of your positive energy that you portray, all right? So there is going to be some type of communication by text, phone, email, uh, seeing you in person. Someone wants to tell you that they're, they only got eyes for you, but someone could be um, bisexual, okay? They swing both ways. Someone here is definitely going through some type of flop finances, could be broke, overspending, or uh, gambling their money away, making bad investment, bad choices when it comes to money. We have anxiety. Someone is overly protective of you or you are of them, okay? Whether you guys are together or not, they feel like, you know, they, they gotta have you know, they got to have your back no matter what. There's a job offer that you could be taking, Virgo, that will come in to allow you to make more money. There's going to be an increase in value or money for you. We have freedom. This is going to help you break free of whatever situation you're in or what environment you're around. Okay? Okay. So there's something about a fire sign here. Someone could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Someone could also be focused on their journey or their healing as well, all right? Let's see what other messages we can pull. Sun, moon, Venus rising, north node for Virgo. If you guys are interested in this reading, then please reach out to me via email to get your own reading. What's showing up for Virgo, please? It was clear and concise messages for Virgo. So this card came out in reverse. So this is like the five of cups. Someone is having issues releasing something, releasing you, or you're having trouble releasing this person, okay? This person 
being in your life was like you gambling. We have union, ten of cups, or two of cups in reverse. Some of you took a chance on this person and found that certain things worked for you. But in other ways, it was a challenge. Okay? And for some of you, this person, whether you were this person, may have issues closing out this cycle. Yeah, someone's in their head about you or if they can trust you. This could be towards a divine feminine. Okay, so we have expectations showing up. What I'm getting here, Virgos, is that someone didn't expect to fall in love with you, to attach them to you, or to be attached to you. I feel like they're codependent on your energy, not wanting to let go. They don't feel like they're worth anything when they're away from you. Okay? I feel like someone is getting through a transcending time or wants to come into union with you. Someone wants to get through a tough period to come into union with you. But there's a third party here. There's a third party that's keeping this person from coming in to your energy field. We have guilt. Someone's guilty for sabotaging this connection, okay, when they should have celebrated having you a part of their life because it was like you were a gift to them, okay? They didn't learn to appreciate it until you slipped through their fingers and you were gone. Someone knows that they fucked up heavily, okay? Someone's name could be Corbin. We have opportunities in reverse. So this is under the tower card. So I'm getting here that something was brought to the forefront about them dropping an opportunity or not giving you an opportunity to get to know them on a realer level. I feel like something didn't really grow because there was a separation that took place or someone didn't bother to see where things can go here. It's like the trail went cold or dead. They left the connection, someone could have been ghosted. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. This could have been because of other outside influences, friends, family members, people that weren't actually supportive of the connection and that probably brought someone to end it because they're like well this is possibly a sign that i shouldn't be with this person and even though it breaks this person's heart to know that it would crush you they would have rather left the connection now you're healing virgo we have sun strength empowerment yeah, someone knows that you bring this dynamic to this relationship or the situation, okay? And this is why they can't let go of you because of all your gravitational pulls, your vibes that you hold. Yeah, for some of you, Divine Feminine, you're out of touch or in separation from this, from this uh, Divine Masculine. Okay, and this person is tempted to come towards you, but they just can't right now. They have some work to do. They're still doing it. Okay. What else is here for Virgo? What is it that needs to be known at this time? Okay, so we have spirit guides in reverse. This person hasn't awoken to their higher self, okay? And I feel like you know that the time has ran its course with this person, whoever this masculine is. You guys could never be together if this person doesn't change, okay? 
This person isn't asking for assistance. They continue to live the same lifestyle that they're living, not thinking that there's anything wrong with what they're doing. So they can't have you as long as they don't make changes in their own life. And that's the law. Okay? So we have contracts, career, commitments, until de debt tear us apart. So I feel like this person wants to financially uh, bring themselves towards you. Yeah. I feel like someone now wants to offer something because of the commitments you're making in career and or this, this situation. Someone isn't doing well financially. Someone could be focusing on career or chose career over this situation here, but they're going broke any fucking way. Or some of you are. I'm getting illusions, okay? Some of you are getting rid of illusions or are taking the mask off. Someone could have been playing a role that wasn't real, okay? Someone acted like they gave a fuck about you but didn't. That was the illusion that they wanted you to see, but it was further from the truth. They didn't love you. They were only attracted to what you can do for them under job offer, increase in money. Yeah. This person went to nurture another situation or to nurture um, something else and left this cycle dead, this connection dead. What else is here for Virgo? Okay, so there's something about you freeing yourself from an air sign, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this could be Ace of Swords. You and this, this person that has one of these air signs in their chart or is an actual air sign is someone that you need to break free from. Okay, because someone just de definitely doesn't have the same beliefs as you. You guys could be from two different worlds, um, have two different interpretations of what a relationship is supposed to look like. All right, someone could have left you for an air sign as well. We have vanity and pride. So ego, this is like six of wands type of energy. Someone needs to let go of ego and pride and all the things that are, you know, all lilies, gumdrops, and candy canes to be who they are. Someone needs to stop living a life where they're pretending. Someone needs to not pretend that everything is all sweet, okay? Because there is a relationship that is broken. There's a home that's broken. There is a family that... that doesn't feel like there's any closeness in it, okay? Someone lacks passion or chemistry with their person here. Let's see what else is going on. What else is there that we need to know for Virgo? We have nostalgia. Someone could be thinking about you or you are of them. There needs to be a, a break in being toxic. Someone could be trying to come towards you to have a new beginning, but needs to find the courage to do this. Okay? I feel like they could be coming around this winter. So, stay alert. Someone's thinking about you so much so that they want to come back around to see you. We have comfort zone. You are this person's uh, safe haven. You are someone that they don't mind clinging on to because they know that you got them. They know that you, you are going to reach your hand up to, to help them change. 
you're an earth angel, and they see that your, the, the connection that you have with them is different from the connection that they make with others. Or this is something that you're realizing here. This person that you're dealing with is a false twin flame. They've been creating illusions for you to see what you thought you were seeing. For some of you here, they might have gotten themselves into dealing with a false twin flame. Okay? This person was only meant to come into your life to teach you a lesson. Okay? You were supposed to nurture yourself back to who you are and to stay woke to what your purpose is. Not for you to fall in love with this person. Yep, it's time to start using your third eye chakra. What else is here for Virgo? So we have flow in reverse. There's an instability with what your with your energy field. I feel like what you see in the mirror doesn't exactly correlate with um, who you are. Someone could be going through instability in their home or the foundation that they're trying to build, but you're not going to let anything uh, get you down or to control you. You're going to stand firm in holding the faith. Taking your power back. Someone is going against everything that their guides are trying to lead them to or trying to alert them about. And when you go against your gods, your ancestors, your guides, you're going to have karma. Okay? Things are going to fall apart. Okay, so we have... Uh, the Ace of Pentacles. So this talks about opportunity, foundations getting better. Some of you could be also getting an uh, inheritance or some money that's coming in, a huge amount of money. This is for my Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Way too much. What else is here? Okay, so we have the dark night. Someone's coming out of, you know, doing their shadow work. Someone's coming into um, doing things differently. Someone now sees the light. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, so we have the higher self. There's something about this low vibrational energy. It's like someone's like being tugged into two different places. Someone's also, you know, coming into the last phase of their shadow work. And it's like someone's kind of being fluid. It's like they're kind of going back and forth between their, their low vibrational self and their higher self. So I feel like this water sign is influencing that. There's some type of fluidity that's not good for you or around you. This is someone that'll switch up on you like a light, okay? Someone's trying to erase all the doubts that they have. Someone could be doubting a certain journey or what's to come for them. Someone could be afraid of the unknown. Yeah. Some of you could feel guarded, maybe resisting. I'm getting here, there's something about um, the autumn, the season, something about autumn and the feminine. There's a third party that's harvesting something. Harvesting something over Halloween Yeah, so that you lose all your gifts. Someone's been harvesting your energy 
And I've spoken on this already. There, this is the water sign. This is the Ace of Cups. Okay. There's someone here that harvested your energy so that you would lose everything and they would take over the essence that you have. If you guys have been, you know, seeing that you've been denied certain things within like job, money, whatever, this is what they're doing. This is the type of magic that they're doing here. Some of you don't even know it yet. But this is something for some of you also that you were expecting. I feel like a lot of you can take on whatever comes your way. So you're like, you know, it'll only work for a limited time. And then they have hell to pay. It's all because of a fucking masculine. And if you let this person into your energy field, that was a portal for this third party to obtain your energy. Yeah, like I said, someone is doing like a life spell where they take everything away from you, including your essence, and creating it as if this were theirs, their own. But it will not work here. They want you to stay out of this soul karmic connection. They don't want a new beginning between you and this divine masculine here. Yep, this, this karmic did some type of spell work where you would be afraid to step into an era where you start believing in yourself and you know, conquering certain things. This is a feminine, okay? And they don't give a fuck. No apologies. They don't care. As long as they're the ones standing, they really don't care. What else is going on here for the Virgo? No weapon that's formed against you shall prosper, Virgo. Period. And they're going to have hell to pay. Judgment is upon this person. Because regardless if this karmic likes it or not, you guys will be together. Okay? Look, I can't make this shit up. I didn't even know this was in the cards. These are brand new cards. This third party cannot keep you guys apart. You were born to go through this. You were born, remember I just said that. It's okay for this person to put you through this because you were born to divide and conquer anybody that does these things to you. And no form of distance or no matter how far they were trying to bring this divine masculine away from you, they would definitely get theirs. All right. What else is here? Yeah. Yeah, this third party definitely wants you to lose sight of what your purpose is, what your calling is. Just be careful with who you transfer energies with. Even standing next to a motherfucker, you can like, if you're powerful enough, or if you have certain gifts, their, their bad energy can rub off of you. This is some evil ass shit. Someone is definitely inexperienced wants to uh, harass you where you live or maybe you've been facing harassment in your community. This could be at school, at home, in your neighborhood, online. 
These are people that stalk the shit out of you. Someone's going out of your life. Parting of ways in either romance or, or business. Someone was blindsided about being dropped from their career. We have love, deep affection, and caring. Some of you need to be aware of self-delusion. Stop thinking that everybody loves the fuck out of you, because they don't. They're the same ones that use their, their sharp tongue, their deceiving tongue to talk shit about you and blame shit on you that wasn't even true. Yep, but you're gonna celebrate when you divide and conquer who's real from who's fake. Okay? Here comes this boat waiting to pick you up. Here's your chariot with money in it. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. But beware of a problem that could be happening now or in the near future. Someone's going to use their sexual energy to come towards you, to take from you, but you're guided by your angel, protection from harm. Beware of your money, your spending, okay? Let's see what else is going on here. For Virgo, we have moon. Changes are going to be happening in your life. Okay, seek out information that could help you get into the right direction. All right, some of you in the month of March could be taking on this angry energy. I'm not really sure why, but you need to get back to basics. Okay, this could be because of a Pisces. Don't let anyone let you get out of character. That's what they want here. All right, we have unsettled times, needing to plan ahead. Someone that you may, may be hooking up with or just wanted sex from you, they could be getting you pregnant and you weren't ready for that. Someone could be finding out that they're pregnant here and that's what's setting someone off. Someone's going to get karma for what, they, what they're doing here. Okay? We have November, September... Some of you may have had an argument with someone or something may have been said. What else is here for Virgo? We have candle. So you will be shown the way because of your spiritual development and awareness. All right, so we have rat. Someone's working against you behind your back that could change your whole life here. The most difficult part of a situation will be over though. Like whenever they think that they're doing something to keep you away from your destiny, they bring you that much closer through your guides. They think that they're doing some type of damage to you, which is only for a limited time. They just need to beware for themselves here. They need to beware for themselves. Yeah, that was only a time. Didn't I just say that? For a limited time only. Virgo, they're gonna get what's coming to them, trust me. Trust me. They may have thought that they won the battle, but you win the war. Okay? Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Some of, for some of you, you didn't even know someone was younger. Okay? We have marriage. Someone only marries you because of money. Time to get out of that situation. Okay? You are on the right path to leave whatever situation you were on. <laughs> it's time to meet new people. It's time to step out. I'm hearing that song by R. Kelly, Step in the Name of Love. Time to go out and have fun. I can't make this shit up. We have June, 
So this could be Gemini energy. In June, you will see that your position changes where you earn more money or get plenty of material things. We have harp, great happiness. Why? Because you've got a bag, okay? Someone will be marrying into wealth. Someone that you work with or going into business with. I already told you this in a few readings before. Some of you are going to marry into wealth. Even though you can take care of yourself, there's someone that wants to take care of you. All right? Some of you could experience some ill health or depression. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Period of prosperity and abundance. So like I said, beware of your choices because this could affect you uh, through your health. Someone could just want to marry you because they're plotting and scheming to do something to you so that you'll pass away so that the money goes to them. Be very fucking careful. Okay? These motherfuckers aren't to be trusted. What else do we have here? A Virgo. What is it that we need to know currently? Okay, look, there's a wealthy man. Hello, how do you do, Divine Masculine? This person could be older than you by 13 years or by four years, however you wanna look at it. This person is very youthful though, mentally, even though they're up in age, they still have, you know, their shit intact. Yeah, I just seen great fortune on the bottom of the deck. Here comes sudden wealth. Some of you are gonna be married to an emperor, okay? Someone sees you as a damsel in distress and wants to change your life. Who the fuck are you to tell them no? Someone's cleaning up some messes that they, that they need to when it comes to an ex or something just to be with you. Someone just wants to go down to the, to the courthouse. They don't want a fancy wedding. They just want to know that at the end of the day that they're yours. Wow. Here comes a gift, unexpected income and gift here. Wow, endings taking place. Someone could be passing away. Okay, so there's an end as, as this person gets out of jail. Someone's concerned about the relationship of someone that's in bad health here. That's also something that's very significant in the reads. We have main female. What's coming out here? What is it that, wow. Okay, so adjudication is showing up. There's something about court, a relationship short trip short distance short journey okay so there's a main female that's trying to help a divine masculine get out of a uh, lock up here and i think um someone will have to suffer a short sentence okay just so that he can get home to his wife little does he know that this wife of his doesn't want to be with him anymore and that the child is not his the fuck? We have change in reverse, lover's journey. So like I said, this person, this, this divine feminine no longer wants to be with this lover, okay? They are definitely going to be moving forward and moving forward with no contact, marrying whoever this wealthy man is.
I'm hearing dictation. This could be somebody trying to tell you what to do. Or someone's actually dictating um, the conversation or replaying something. We have mature woman. Mature woman here tells me that there's someone that doesn't like you, someone that's really jealous of you, Virgo, wants your life here. Whoever this main male is, they're in court for a child right now, not able to pay for a child. And this is why this person's keeping a child away from the mother or father to their child. Okay, this person is a false person because the child is not even the divine masculines. But they're trying to make sure that that money is though. <laughs> this person is a snake, a real snake. Show me more. Yep, false person showing up. Bad health, occupation, courthouse. So someone's mentally going through it because they're struggling with being able to keep a job or to get a job. And it's, this person is like not in a great position to be working anyways, but they can't go another day without seeing a child that is not even theirs. <laughs> Uh, like what? Someone's been lying to you, Divine Masculine, because that child is not yours. It belongs to the help or the wealthy man. Someone's birthday is July 8th, July 1st. July 2nd, February 2nd, February 3rd, January 1st, September 1st. Someone could be born on the 2nd that you're dealing with. Someone could be 30, between 30, 27 and 32 years old. Let's see here. We have imprisonment. Someone wants to get some type of clarity surrounding a relationship. I'm here, do you love me or don't you? Because I can be on my merry fucking way. I don't even give a fuck, but I'm concerned. Like, is this going to, you know, mess with me having a relationship with my child? We don't even have to live together. We can co-parent is what I'm hearing. All right, but this person doesn't even want you a part of this shit, okay? Because they're gonna know too much about a message or rumors about this person that's already married once you get out of jail or some shit. We have expectation, mature man, concern in reverse, and the great fortune. So someone's expecting for a, a man that's a little older than them, or maybe this could be a family member, or someone that's wise. This could be just a friend of the family or something like that. Someone that's close to you, that you trust, that may not care about monetary value when it comes to you, but values you as a person. Yeah, okay? Someone just sees you through it all, okay? Someone's trying to give you hope in a situation that may seem really uh, hard for you. I feel like in terms of this court case, it's been long-winded. Something's like dragging out too long. It's taking a lot out of you. I'm hearing that you, you can have it all. Someone no longer wants to be tied to this particular person that they're no longer in love with. That's what I'm hearing. 
Let's see if we can get some other quick messages before we climb out of this read. What's here for Virgo? Okay. So someone could have sent a, the message to the wrong person. Someone could have sent a message to someone that they didn't mean to. Yeah. Someone wrote a message about um, that they were going to cancel, but they're actually going. So it's like almost a message of throwing someone off their tracks type shit. Someone could have got caught with that. Okay, we have 666. Some of you could be seeing this number. There's something about refocusing, finding a new path, obsessed with something, losing sight of the bigger picture. Yeah, someone's going to be climbing out of whatever spiritual warfare is going on. So like I said, this is a temporary situation because you're beginning to see people for who they are and the journey that they're, they're on or that they want you to be a part of. You need to cut the cord with these motherfuckers. Someone may be going through having a miscarriage or an ectopic pregnancy, hysterectomy, someone can't have children. Okay? This could be someone's, um, wow. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that the person that threw some type of spell on you for you not to have children, that harvested your energy, is the person now that are having complications with theirs. <laughs> if they're trying to get pregnant, it's going to take them a while to get motherfucking pregnant, bitch. All right? Real recognizes real. And I don't wish that on anybody, but karma's karma, baby. We have asking for money. Someone could be asking you for money. Someone has asked a lot of people for money, but they're working their way down the list to you, Virgo. Okay? Someone is only asking you for money to see how much you'll fork out for them. Okay? And then the plot thickens with revenge. Someone's being coerced to do this. Okay, for some of you that met an individual at a party, this person's name could be uh, starting with Y or P or have one of these letters in their name, YPD. Okay. I'm hearing something about a police department. This could be a current lover. Someone could have an authoritative uh, position in what they do. Some of you could be uh, meeting someone. Okay, so we have sociopath. Someone could definitely be a sociopath. Someone's name starts with Z. This could be a female coworker. So they could be the third party as well. Your bounce back game is strong as fuck. None of these motherfuckers can handle your shit, okay? What else is going on for Virgo? I'm sorry for them when karma hits them because all this shit that has been done to you, Virgo, I would never imagine on doing to someone just because I'm feeling petty. I'd rather be verbally petty than to do something onto someone that could possibly be done back to me. Someone's even done sex spells for the person that's attracted to you, not to have sex with you, but this person doesn't even want to have sex with the third party now. They can't even get it up for this person. Someone's just mad that you're a baddie or a bad boy and you uphold king or queen status right now and they're in their thoughts because they're worried that you might surpass them or reach success uh, further than them here. Why is someone in, in constant competition with you? Someone always wants to involve you in some type of mess that you ain't got no business being involved in. Okay? There's a meeting with coworkers or friends that you may not want to mingle or mix with. Okay? This person's name starts with the letter E. This motherfucker is plotting against you, doesn't want you to get an approval letter for some shit here. 
I just seen Emperor, and I did mention it earlier, some of you are relocating, whether you're moving to a safe house to be protected, or you're moving uh, because you need a change of scenery, bitch, you about to do it here, and I think you should, because there's a lot of false motherfuckers around you waiting for the, the, the fucking pin to drop. Period. Okay, someone's name starts with the letter U. Whoever this person is, they're harvesting your energy. They're the incubus succubus here. Okay. And they see that you're getting away from them energetically. So someone could have something of yours. Pay attention. Someone's been following you around and got a piece of your, your hair fibers or something like that to harvest and do fucking witchcraft and all of this shit here. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Someone could even have an item or clothing that you used to wear. Protect your goddamn energy. Protect your energy, guys. Okay? Some of your DMs are going to be flooded here. Okay? Like I said, at the bottom of the deck, someone's watching you on a platform or is watching you on social media, whether that's Instagram, whatever the fuck. They're watching you. And they're the ones that are DMing you alongside with others. Okay? Someone wants you to send them cash apps. They're messaging you as another party or another person trying to get you to send them cash apps when it's them. You ain't fucking stupid. I just had to turn down a reading. And I do do that. Yes, I do. I just see Emperor show up. If I feel like the energy is off or someone's not who they say they are and I do my, my research, I'm going to cancel that reading without even like letting you, I'll just block you. Showing off to get a reaction. Someone could be showing off to get a reaction out of you all. This is an air sign, and we already seen air motherfucking sign. All right? So that's what I have here for your current messages. Virgo, hopefully this resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.